just a quick run through running uh, aquaponics on solar can be done solar is never cheap it's just the way of the world with solar solar panels and batteries and everything else uh, this system is a 4,000 litre tank and a 1,000 litre um, for trout fingerlings uh, so this solar system is running two sets of pumps uh, for two separate systems just uh, get into it without dropping this thing on my foot so this is obviously an old roadie box just houses all my gear so I don't know how well you're going to be able to see with low light but um, inside the basics of it are there's a solar controller uh, inverter back there another small inverter down there and that's my main um, inverter, which does a few things more than just uh, act like an inverter. Uh, but basically, separating the tanks, I've got my smaller tank running on an older solar system that I actually had on a car trailer, like a you know hot rod kind of moving car trailer. Uh, it had a, about a 100 watt solar panel and this uh, and a 90 uh, mAh battery. So that, that gear is quite old, uh, it's probably six, seven years old or something. Um, cost a fortune at the time, but uh, now probably worth near nothing. So the trailer didn't use it much, so I pulled that one out. That one basically only runs a couple of air pumps. So underneath the um, roadie box full of all the solar gear, inside here, uh, I'll pop it open. Got a uh, compressor air pump and a kind of smaller one, it's like a 70 litre air pump so you can see they don't make too much noise but they're both running on one side of the solar system this one and that battery I showed you the 90 H battery so it runs them fine I probably can't really show you the screen but it's a bit cloudy today we had a hot day yesterday a bit cloudy today but it's still you know holding charge all night long running the pumps uh, even with a bit of a cloudy day and whatnot so it's um, probably slight overkill I think the wattage on those air pumps is uh, 35 and 10, so 45 watt use, uh, and that does it day and night running with that controller, the 90 mAh battery, and about a 100 watt solar panel. Solar panels up on the roof over there. The other side of the system runs all the pumps, so this larger controller in here, it's a little bit more high tech, you know, it gives you all readouts of what's going on that it's at the moment even though it's a pretty cloudy day after having 40 degrees plus yesterday uh, as you can see it's gone down to 14 this morning so uh, all the tanks have dropped severely to 16.3 uh, from 22s and 23s yesterday uh, but basically this controller uh, is it's, it kind of acts like a UPS as well so if I have any battery failure, um, anything goes wrong, uh, it can kick over to AC power. So generally the system runs on just solar, so that does the job. Um, but you know, really cloudy days, if you get too many of them, then uh, you need you know, another power source. So uh, as you can see again, um, that, that controller <coughs> shows you what's coming in. So 120 watt solar panel on this roof uh, with an MMPT controller. You can see that even on a really cloudy day, it jumps around a lot, but the volts coming in is that one going 93, 90, 76, 95, 100. So that's what's coming in. You can see it's putting 220 out, and the 50 in the middle is the frequency. Uh, it shows you the capacity of battery. So after running last night, it's only got down two notches below the where it's 146, 83, that bit. Uh, shows you that it's running on battery, a little symbol on the bottom, and those sort of uh, volume scales right at the end there are the load. So I'm obviously running this controller nowhere near its load rating, so it, um, it can put out some you know, serious amount of power if you wanted to. It's overkill, but it allows me to plug more in. Uh, this controller is running two, two batteries. So you can see them in parallel. So there, even though the wires on those batteries are crossed, it is actually running positive to positive and negative to negative. The batteries are just the wrong way around, kind of, uh, to make the leads the right length. So two batteries, they're both 12 volt, uh, 80 amp hour. They're, they're connected positive and positive, negative and negative. So it, 
it remains at 12 volts, it doesn't make it 24. Uh, if you cross the leads from negative to positive, that would make these two 12 volt batteries 24 volt. But uh, everything I basically run here is 12 volts, so having the positive to positive, negative to negative, that makes them 12 volt, but it takes it up to 160 amp hour and you know takes the amps up a little bit as well. So those two batteries under there are going into that solar controller, solar panels into it and everything else. Um, and then it's running two pumps. So it's running a 70 watt pump and also a 35 watt pump. 35 watt pump goes in the fingerlings tank uh, and the 70 watt pump is working the larger fish tank. Uh, so it's basically the two pumps. It also has a wave maker attached to it. So this little hoover doover over here uh, in the fingling tank, you can kind of see probably a bit of movement in there. It's on a low setting of just constantly pushing the water around that tank because uh, this is a trout tank. So trout kind of like something to do. They don't like sitting in a corner. Uh, you know that gives them a little bit of. Uh, so basically you can make it a swell, you can make waves in the tank, which I don't. I just push it round as though it was a stream. So this tank's running always like a stream. I think the pump uh, that runs this is about 35 watts. So the 125 watt panel, the two batteries in parallel uh, going into that controller, handle with no problem 100 watts of pumps, uh, another 35 watt for the wave maker. Uh, and if I wanted to, I could probably plug some air pumps into them. Uh, but, you know, I don't really need to. The, the older system I showed you handles all the air. Now with uh, this system, I try not to run too high an inverter, like the inverters down here uh, that are basically running air pumps is quite small. I think it's a 80 watt little tiny inverter. It's not, not even warm, so there's not a lot of waste of electricity. But in any system, you know, aquaponics wise, I never want to lose my fish uh, and stop the water pumping. So I basically have a backup fail safe of everything. So there's an extra inverter, you can see up on the wall here, which can be changed over in about three seconds. Uh, that's about a 300 watt inverter. So I'm able to put this whole system from either the older gear that I've got or the newer gear. So if anything fails on me, whether any controller fails, panels fail, batteries fail, I would have enough power to swap over. Right? I'm not off the grid, so I don't really have to worry about it that much. I could just plug you know, the power point into it and run it off the power point. But that's not the game. I'd rather play uh, the solar game. Um, I've got all the gear anyway. So uh, you know, this, this system probably takes off the grid about 170 watts running you know, most of the day. So, you know, that's, uh, you know, in the long run, it would probably take me years to save the kind of power running from solar, from what it cost me to set up, to actually just PowerPoint. But it's as much, you know, just something to play with, a bit of a toy kind of thing running it like this. And, you know, I, it is kind of free. So, you can see a couple of power boards, different pumps and stuff, a few, a few timers running the different pumps and whatnot. So, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, you know, show you guys a solar, a twin, you know, there's actually two aquaponic systems running here, um, both running on solar with no dramas, uh, even after, like I showed you, cloudy nights, uh, you know, they're running fine. This is one of the beds that the main pump runs, so down in under all these pipes, but we can't really see it under all there, but there's 70 watt pump in there, uh, it's one of these DC pumps, probably can't see it in there, but it has a controller and everything, so I can actually turn it right up, turn it right down. So that's 9,000 litres an hour goes through this system. Just with a little seedling beds off the side there. That's um, a bit of a U-bend. U-bend just kind of keeps the water levels the same. Uh, so that's where all the seedlings come up and then they're transplanted out into these beds. So the 70 watt pump's running that. And it first goes into this bed. So they all newly planted out a couple of weeks ago. So that one's that one. And there's another system over here. The smaller 35 watt pump's running. So you can see the panels, that's 125 water up there and the 100 water down there. So, you know, this system, the solar system itself, isn't, isn't spectacular. Uh, as in, these panels are really not even facing the right direction. Uh, the sun comes straight across us and to behind me. 
And these panels, as you can see, they're sloping down on that roof. The slopey roof's kind of wrong. They should actually be sitting up flat or near pointing the other way. I, I really should uh, basically jack the panels up, frame them up so they're pointing directly at the sun to get the most out of it. But, uh, you know, with the gear I've got at the moment, it's not really necessary to uh, be worrying that much about it. So, yeah, quick look at um, how to get off the grid. And uh, it can be done, like anything, it costs money. But uh, so does aquaponics all up. So, yeah, there you go, guys. Good to make it that.